Market rally, but not so much from Moderna. Investors are pulling the plug on the stock. It's falling to a three-year low of $70.32. It's getting hammered down 7.7% after the vaccine maker posted a third quarter loss due to a large write-down in unused COVID-19 vaccine doses. Demand for its new iteration of the vaccine continues to fall. Moderna also said it's going to scale back production, and they gave weak sales guidance for next year, which leads us to ask this. How do insurance companies look with hopefully the worst of COVID behind us? Top supplemental insurance providers, and what they do is they sell coverage to supplement buyers' primary health insurance coverage. Allstate and MetLife have punched up in the green since the pandemic began, but Aflac shares have flown high above the competition, coming in with a gain of 130 percent since the lockdowns in 2020. Joining me now live from the Aflac headquarters in Columbus, Georgia, is CEO Dan Amos. Dan, that's, that's quite a gap, if you will, between you and your closest competitor. What is it? Are your rates better? Why is there such a, a disparation, a, a sort of a, a gap? As Well, let's just use that word, between you and the, and the competition. Well, um, I would say uh, I think our operations are, are running very effectively. I think our policies are products that people want and need. And what we've tried to do is adapt to health care changes. Uh, I'll give you an example. The number of days in the hospital continues to drop. And um, so if you've got indemnity policies that just pay every day you're in the hospital, they're not going to get as many benefits. So we've changed to do outpatient treatments and things of that nature, which make a big difference. Uh, all of the things are like wellness benefits. We encourage people to go to the doctor, and for that, we help pay to cover that. So these are things that make a, makes a, a difference. And then there's been a real swing in we're seeing from cancer experts that are saying we're seeing more cancer to a younger age. For example, with mammograms, they used to say get one by age 50 and then start every year after that. Now they've moved it to 40. And so all of these things tie together to, I think, ultimately make sales stronger for us. And we've seen that our sales are up about 12 and a half percent in Japan and about 7 percent in the U.S. Yeah, Japan is 75 percent of your business and has always been a, a big driver there. Uh, but it's but it's also you, Dan. We're showing on the screen that since you became CEO back in 1990, the stock is up 6,794%. Uh, that I'm just pointing that out. I, I think it's always not just the horse, but the jockey when it comes to picking stocks. You've got to figure out who's the management. So props to you about that. But let me now like push you a little bit. Okay, so I started being nice, and now I'm going to be uh, yes, you did. kitty scratch. Um, and that is... Yeah that the cost curve is not being bent. People still can't afford insurance. They still need to buy more from people like you. And, you know, my dad, who was a surgeon, used to say, Liz, you look at these guys and they're, they're, gleaming, they're gleaming skyscrapers in the insurance business, and yet people are going without or breaking their pills in half because they can't afford it. To what do you say when people say, what is the solution in bringing health insurance costs down? Well... One of the ways that they've tried to bring health costs down is to have, have higher copays and deductibles. And those higher copays and deductibles do make people take a look of whether or not they really need to go to the doctor or not go to the doctor. But we want to make sure that we've got coverage available for the people that really do need to go to the doctor. But if you've got unlimited times you can go and you have no expense whatsoever, then everybody just shows mm. up one time after another. So it's a delicate balance between how you do this and the way that you're able to carry it off. You know, our products are bought for people predominantly at the workplace. So almost all of our people are working. And so I, they can afford it in many cases, better than, say, other situations. Mm -hmm. So we're very careful in the way we approach 
the customers that need to own our type products. Hmm. But the good news is um, it, it continues as, as those deductibles and co-pays go up, people want to fill those voids and we fill okay. the gap by doing that. Uh, Dan, please come back. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Good to see you. Thank you.